Beginning of a week, it's a Monday, getting my week together, and usually when I wake up and get myself together, I do a little bit of uh, casual meditation, I like to call it, um, you know, mindfulness, then meditation. The thumbnail is not clickbait. I, I know it sounded like I stereotyped by segmenting, segment, segmenting <laughs> the, you know, group of individuals. Do heavy metal listeners meditate? Uh, the reason why this conversation's come up, stand by is because of the dichotomy between the darkness and the heaviness of what heavy metal represents as a genre, as a music therapy statement, a type of music that allows you to either express or decouple or release dark, heavy energy, albeit social energy, personal energy. It's a very powerful, powerful genre when it comes to um, uh, the emotions. Where does it sit? in our heads? Where does it sit in our hearts? How does it make us kind of relieve the uh, anxiety and stress and the tension of the world, albeit it's such a gnarly <laughs> genre, right? It's heavy metal. It's heavy. Um, but uh, right now I'm kind of on this journey about uh, a unique path of meditation and mindfulness, and it's not the sitting in the king's pose and aligning the chakras kind of vibe as much as it is a more um, placid run at doing it because I've had the worst time meditating my whole life, you know, trying to shut off that monkey mind, <coughs> excuse me, things that are going on. And so this kind of, like I said earlier, this dichotomy of being this heavy metal, a new heavy metal fan, obviously, because of my channels, and uh, then taking the step in such a pseudo peaceful way of pulling myself back in from the anxiety, my own personal or wor world anxieties or whatever. And, um, you know, this whole trippy thing that I've been doing with uh, um, uh, kind of, of, of this weird, unique kind of, <clears throat> oh, shit, you know what I did? I hit start stream instead of start recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god that is the funniest mistake i've ever made in my life that is absolutely hilarious that is the funniest thing i've and it's so on brand is it not that i make a mistake like this that is absolutely hilarious I was thinking, okay, I'm going to wake up this morning. It's been a while since I've done anything for the Positive Wave Rider channel. And I've been really kind of stewing on some meditation things for Gen Z and, and heavy metal and music and stuff. So I said to myself, I know. Let me accomplish one thing first in the morning and let me go ahead and just um, do a video and post it. And then I have to get back to what I've been doing. I, I know you guys know that I've been, I was hired to do um, the narration for a book, and it's focusing on uh, um, it's it's focusing on uh, meditation in Buddha. No, one a.m. You're gonna die laughing, Bryce. Swear to God, the people in the chat already know. I just wanted to do a, a record a video, but I just woke up and instead of hitting start recording, I hit start stream and I started talking bubbles. When this thing posts on. <laughs> When I post this on Twitch, you'll die laughing. This isn't a regular stream, so so anyhow. Well, then, hey, what the hell? I'm not going to do any music. Maybe I'll just do it with you guys. Uh, maybe maybe you we'll just have this little thing. Instead of me recording, maybe it's serendipitous. Maybe it's a universal thing saying, why do it on your own? Why not involve your chat on this? So then I might as well just do that. Well, first of all, good morning, everybody. You guys know I'm never on this early. So I want to say good morning to everybody. And I have my cup of coffee, too early for peanut butter. I have my studio session open to get back to work. Yeah, it's full-on classic me. Full-on, I mean, I don't even think this is on the bingo card. That's how classic it is. I don't even think it's on the bingo card, if you guys know what the bingo card is. All right, well... 
I own it. I'll do it. So anyhow, let's just do this. And then maybe I'll just clip this off, this session off, and, um, and put it on my Positive Wave Writer channel. How about that? And uh, if, if you guys want to chime in, that's great with your opinions. That's fantastic. If not, and you're just lurking. Maybe I have a Zen moment going on here. But the reason why um, I hit start stream instead of start video, but here we are streaming, was because of the book that I'm reading as a narrator for this audio gig Focusing, uh, focuses a lot on, obviously, meditation. It's, it's called Medicine Buddha, The Happiness Teachings by another author. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm reading this because I got hired because the guy likes the tone of my voice and everything and the cadence that I use when I read it. And, you know, I have, really, I have really big difficulties with a lot of the um, masters of Buddha's names. I mean, it's just mind-numbing how, for me, and I just can't articulate it. It's been, a, it's been really difficult. But the messaging has been unique. So the subject matter is heavy metal, metal, rock genres, all the subgenres. Do heavy metal listeners meditate? Now, I know that sounds kind of like a, um, uh, like I've segmented the audience by, um, st uh, let's say, well, I segmented the audience by me saying, do heavy metal, you know, listeners meditate? And... The reason is, is because it's such a dichotomy between the heaviness and the harshness and the darkness and the power of metal, uh, albeit extremely musical as it could be progressive or as dark as it could be as, you know, black metal. Do individuals who utilize metal as, as an expression of their energy, of their day, as a, as a negative energy release, uh, as a decoupling of... Um, uh, anxieties, you know, universal social anxieties, personal anxieties. And that harsh representation sonically, to, 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 it's more of a music therapy, right? So if you're listening to heavy metal and if you're that kind of listener and it's allowing you to express angst and stuff like that or get it out of you, then you're kind of using it more as a music therapy. But meditation, you know, is supposed to be this peaceful pullback, and what I mean by that is, is there, that there's mindfulness and then there's meditation. So mindfulness is more like being present, being able to call yourself back in. You don't have to sit in any kind of pose and you don't have to repeat a mantra or anything. It's more like just being able to sit in a place. It could be right in front of your computer. It could be in your car. It could be on a break at work or something like that. It can even be in a noisy area and you pull yourself back in. You know, just without, like I said, without getting into the woo-woo of, you know, uh, and, and, and I don't mean to disrespect the, the modality of meditation, but I, just a lot of people use the word woo-woo because sometimes, like myself, I could admit I'm still not too comfortable, you know, about pulling myself into that mode of meditation or mindfulness. But being able to just sit in a place, even if your arms are crossed or whatever, and bring yourself back into your head. You know, come on back here, chill out, sit, relax, stay, and then kind of rinse in that. Whereas meditation is more of a deeper connection of your senses, just being a little more aware. Um, and then you do go into different zones in meditation. And I can't really, I, I do the best I can to meditate. I find my forms of meditation is actually, which is different from mindful, mindfulness, my forms of meditation is actually when I drive down to the beach and I don't, I don't go through that traditional, you know, sit in a pose and, um, and, 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 uh, and, and think about chakras and think about channeling and think about, you know, the many different ways that these, um, uh, that meditation has these, these mantras and stuff that you pull into your head, you know. I just kind of chill out. I use the sound of the ocean, though, as my Zen, you know, stabilizer. So that white, the white noise of the ocean while I'm sitting on the beach, at least I can, that's getting, that's literally getting rid of the other noise in the world for me. The rest of the time, you know, is I, I don't close my eyes. I kind of keep my eyes kind of like more than three quarters of the way sh shut. I do make the attempt to kind of chill back and pull back and, and allow myself to hear myself breathing or feel myself breathing. 
I have this weird thing that I do where I say, you know, all the muscles in my face is just going to melt, you know, and then you feel your shoulders drop and you don't realize how much tension you carry in your shoulders and stuff. And then I'll eventually get to a place where I'm really, really super relaxed. And then all of a sudden, oh shit, did I pay that bill? <laughs> Sneaks into my mind, the monkey mind thing. So I'm still a work in progress. But I mean, the, the, the reason why I wanted to do this video at the beginning before I hit stream instead of record is um, uh, I, I, I was, I really, it was more of a question, you know, do, uh, do people who have such a love for heavy metal and metal and stuff actually partake in uh, mindful meditation? I know that's a big garble of words, but what I mean by that is actually acknowledge the fact that it's time for a break. I'm going to sit or stand or be somewhere, call myself in from the world, let myself kind of stew a little bit, and then maybe even take it to the next level. I guess that's my real question, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, judgment, I'm, I'm so down with what you're saying. Um, there's, there's definitely a, an aspect of inputting music also into the meditation process. You know, uh, there's, there's some, you know, songs, songs a little bit like Tool, um, uh, which I call more of the more more of the more minor progressive metals compared to all the bands that I've heard. Uh, but because of their unique rhythms and stuff, and they're always usually in the key of D, which believe it or not is a, is if you're down for that conversation, you know each chakra has a note assigned to it. Okay. However, I think one of the most addictive parts of being a composer or listening to a song or what kind of a song pulls me in is you guys have heard me say it a million times on the stream that drone that one note that goes through the whole song and even if it slightly changes if it's slightly variable that note still is present in the song a lot of times it's like well guitar players will do it with open um open guitar player there, there's always one or two strings that are left open you know so um Sometimes utilizing that to get you into a space and pull you away from the world, irregardless, would be that kind of um, music therapy mindfulness, mindfulness vibe. So you use music therapy to get you into that mindful kind of mode. And then at that point, whether you're elect to go into a meditation state, at least you're pulled in. You know, and I think that's 70% of the battle. If you can pull yourself away from the noise of the world, even the noise in your head, and then you use music as a trigger to bring you in, shut out the world, and then you can pull yourself in just enough to kind of get your senses kind of redialed in, then I think that's the full win, you know? But, um, so yeah, that's my story. I don't know, that was just that weird rant and, and now I don't even know if I could redo this in a video form, if I should just let this live where it is and let this be my my stupid rant that I, I mean, I, it's not stupid. The rant, the subject matter is not stupid, but the way it started is such classic me. Maybe I'll just export this and put this out on the avocado channel. <laughs> Anyhow, it was, uh, it, this was a very short stream. <laughs> shit i don't know what else i'm gonna see let me see um okay well while i'm streaming though um how about a little update of what's going to happen this week i have um wednesday is going to be wheel of cheese um we got the minecraft server back up uh, we had just a little bit of a glitch and um one of our mods uh was uh, having a little fun and and hit and, pay and payback was hell Remember, I blew up somebody in with TNT on that little that little part I played. Well, by accident, he hit the flint and blew up the server, but we got it all solved. So uh, I'm going to be back into training for Minecraft, um, Minecraft uh, boss fight. I forgot what 1 a.m. called it. And then um, what else? So Wheel of Cheese on Wednesday. I might, I, I, might, I might combo in donos with that because I'm still busy finishing this book. 
I got to start reading and then um, or finish I'm at chapter 17 and so I've got to finish that and then uh, I still got a shit ton of music I got to write for this publisher so I'm just kind of a working fool and can't lean into the twitch thing for as long as I normally do anyhow uh, let me see if there's anything else man I'm fully chill wouldn't that be funny <clears throat> if I had this like heavy metal mindfulness meditation session on twitch where everybody can airball stuff. I don't know. Just having fun. I'm just an old fart looking to have fun. You know, just kind of talk bubbles about, uh, talk story about energy and, 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 and all of us are huge music fans. You know, and, uh, and music is such an important part of putting us into some kind of state of uh <laughs> sometimes it's realization sometimes it's psychosis <laughs> you know but um that's why that's why i do what i do when it comes to coming here and express myself and we get to share the small community what we like about our songs you know and um yeah that's that's pretty much it yeah just just for kicks carol you know just kind of a chill out session. It's almost like there's this guy that's on TikTok right, TikTok right now that released a video that I thought was very intriguing. I mean, you can really feel it. I don't know if you guys have seen, there's a guy that just goes like this. He'll get on, he'll get on the, um, hey King, how's it? He'll get up on, on, U on TikTok and all he does is this. He goes, so tell me about your day. How'd it go? Well, I'm here for you. Let's talk. But the truth be told is that he puts that out there and it's, it's almost like an invitation for you to ha have that conversation. But I, I mean, you know, I, I get it. I personally felt like, wow, bro's, uh, bro, bro's leaning into me for a conversation. Unfortunately, there's no real, you know, what, what did somebody just say? Social interaction simulator, right? You know, and... Uh, but I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't be that guy. I, I would never open up a stream or anything like that and say, so let's talk story. Let's work out challenges. I don't, I'm still working out my own challenges in my mid sixties for God's sakes. <clears throat> but, um, but I found it unique. Man is TikTok losing its mind. I don't know what the hell's going on over there. I watch TikTok for morbid curiosity on what that community does. But lately, there's just been full-on hardcore porn on there. Just full stop. Just no, no blurring out of anything. I'm like, what is going on here? You know, and, and to me, that's, I don't know, that's not, that's not what I'm there for. If, if, obviously, if you're there for something, there are sites and other things you could do for that. I'm there to watch cats jumping off foil, you know, the occasional, you know, dad jokes, um, you know, the kind of things where people test things and or scare pranks and stuff like that. But damn. And um, so that that's kind of a trip. That's kind of a bummer that that's kind of sneaking through or it maybe could it could be a, it could be a bot attack against TikTok. We'll, we'll go conspiracy. It's a bot attack against TikTok from the other sites like Facebook and, and Twitter and bots are being developed to inject porn into their TikTok stream and that's what it is. Uh, conspiracy. Wait, let me get my aluminum hat on. What are you gonna do? So you guys want you guys want to hear a quick run? I'll do I'm gonna do one paragraph of this and then I'm gonna say aloha to everybody because I do have to get to work. <clears throat> but this is what I'm doing right now. I'm on page I'm on chapter 17 of this book. And what I'm doing, if you don't know, is I'm actually got hired to narrate an audiobook for this gentleman. So now I change my cadence, and then this is what I do. Okay. Chapter 17. Taking it to the streets. In painting and statues, the Buddha is usually depicted in calm meditation. But archaeologists conjecture from studying the wear patterns on the floor of one of his abodes that he paced a lot. 
I'm guessing he practiced a lot of walking meditation. As I've said before, and I'll say again, the whole point of practice is to be awake during all of the activities, not to hold mindfulness aside for a special time or place. It's a huge step when you're willing to let the discipline of being awake permeate your life. When you first begin to practice, and perhaps even decades after, you might not recognize how you're dividing time into now I'm meditating, and now off the clock can be crazy and sloppy indulging in the rat race. <laughs> so that's what I do. That's, that's my narration voice. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I've got that, uh, uh, that thing, yeah, I don't know. And it depends too, I don't really have my mic set up really well. I, I'm usually a little closer so I can get actually a little less, um, a little less air passing through my vocal cords so that if I do that, then like, and don't forget too, I have to become part of the book when I'm reading it. So because this is a mindful meditation book, yet he has a lot of sections here in the, in the paragraphs that have parentheses, which punctuation wise either is to make a sub statement or it is making a, st a statement like saying, and then Peter said, parentheses, but what I try to do because of the tone of the book is meditative, then what I try to do is push less air through my vocal cords so you can hear a little lower parts of the tone of my voice. So when I'm reading, one technique I've been teaching I call Safeway Meditation. We spend a lot of our times waiting in line for tickets, groceries, or a latte. And most of us drop into kind of an impatient mental haze with corresponding slouch posture while we wait our turn. So that's a whole... <laughs> Open your mind, Quaid. Open your mind. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, anyhow, this has probably got to been. This is probably one of the funniest mistakes I've ever made. Um, and thinking that I was recording this whole time, and and I'm I'm actually going to save this. I'll put this up on the on the. Uh, on, uh, 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 or, or publish it on Twitch. It's the stupidest thing, funniest thing I've ever done, but what the hell? I know. <laughs> what, turnip? You, because I'm leaving? <laughs> Anyhow, um, so yeah. So I'm just going to end the stream. And actually today, though, b funny enough, I actually do have a session at 2 o'clock with one of our um, community members here because they turned redeemed i think it's 180,000 points they redeemed and what i do which i don't know if i'm going to be down for it today is going to be the first time i hope I, I can technically pull it off is we listen to an hour of your music so in other words you get one hour of your music together in a playlist it could be all over the map it doesn't matter it's one hour of your music and then you and I do it together. So you'll either go into Discord or something. We'll figure it out or Zoom. And you and I sit through an hour of your playlist. So today is my very first recording of that. I don't, uh, we're not doing it on Twitch. I'm going to record it in Discord and then put it on the YouTube channel. But anyhow, guys, listen, this was fun while it started. I'm out of here. I'm so sorry that I jumped your day like that. <laughs> oh my God, this is hilarious. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Have a great day. I'll see you guys on Wednesday, 2 o'clock my time, uh, Hawaiian time. And, um, and we'll do Wheel of Cheese and Donos, okay? Sounds good?